Hi guys, this is Nikita Net, and what I've got in front of me is a jumble of parts and a question. And I'll read the question aloud, but first I have to notify you of the disclaimer that's in screen on the video. Readily available to read and understand for everyone. And I'll have to reiterate its validity. You are responsible for your own safety and that for others around you. And I put this in many of my videos with one single purpose. To make readily clear that some of the subjects in my video can be very dangerous. As this one is as well. So let's talk about the question I got. Let's move this a little bit away and read it aloud. How many fans can I hook up to one motherboard fan header? Or a close approximation of that specific question. Now. That's an interesting question in itself, and it's a little bit full of mystique. Um, well, yeah, let's call it that. And the reason for that is that you can buy on the open market these, or variations of these. And this is a white cable splitter for PWM fans. It has a plug to plug into the motherboard and two sockets to plug into fans. Now, why does a motherboard have one socket and not multiples? But they do, Nikita. They do. Indeed, they do. So, why is this question relevant? Well, that's very simple. Many computer cases have many fan placement places, a spot where you can mount a fan. Some CPU coolers even have multiple spots for fan placement. And then you run into an, an obvious problem that most motherboards, and let's move this out of the way, but that most motherboards have a limited number of these sockets. Let's see. Ah. Here is one, and here as well. Here is yet another. So we've got three, clearly visible, of which one is broken, by the way. This is a broken motherboard that's purely here as an example. Right? Purely here as an example. Reiterating that, because of course it's broken. But there are three clearly visible fan headers, as they're called. Now. Still, the question remains, how many fans can I hook up to one motherboard fan header? There is but one answer in reality, and that is refer to the motherboard manual for that specific let's see that should be in SP and I'm dyslectic so let's do it like that specific so, refer to the motherboard manual for that specific motherboard and its sp almost went there again specific iteration. That's the answer. Refer to the motherboard manual for that specific motherboard and its specific iteration. Now, but Nikita, 
you can buy these on the open market even versions with multiple sockets for multiple fans then you're getting another answer that is C answer above this one with two right not one but two exclamation marks because once again you should check your own motherboard's manual for your specific version of the motherboard and that's a, a wonderful thing you can download them even for very old motherboards that motherboard over there has its manual currently at least online or at least a couple of days back when I tried to repair it well fail that right so there is but one answer and that is to refer to your owner's manual basically it's called of course a motherboard manual and then you still have to account for the specific version of the motherboard right okay now can we please have that disclaimer back in the video because even though what I've stated is completely correct, right? There is still yet a bunch of people that will say, well, but you know, I blah, 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 blah. And I'm being condescending on purpose because this is dangerous stuff. Therefore, the disclaimer, please ensure that it is visible in this video, right? So. If your manual, as most do in my experience, doesn't mention how many fans you can attach, and it doesn't specifically specify a rated amperage, and most likely that's misspelled, but if it doesn't state a rated amperage, and also a starting amperage if it doesn't state those right if the manual once again doesn't state a rated amperage and the starting amperage is nice if it's there but a rated amperage per per huh? header if it doesn't state it over there well there's a problem and I'll explain why these fans all have an amperage 12 volt direct current so 12 VDC 0.10A, that means 0.10 amps. So that's clear, right? This one, which is a PWM fan, because I'm not in this video talking about the connection interface. No, we're purely talking about amperage in that sense. DC 12 V, so direct current 12 volt. 0.10 18a so 0 0.18 amps right now on this one it doesn't state it because it's most likely on the other side so you have to dismount it now if you're sure about yourself which I highly doubt and you're buying yourself either a PWM version of this or a normal free wire version of this and let's not talk about mixing them together no let's talk about one and you add them up and your manual has a rated amperage per header well then you can do the math right because of course there is two types of well required amperage not only voltage but also amperage and that is if you add them up 
this number that's mentioned here and on many fans is highly dubious. Not joking here. But if you add them up, you can basically state, okay, my motherboard manual states that's the maximum amperage and all my fans combined don't add up in amperage more than the rated amperage per header, you might be okay. And let's move these out of the way and get the motherboard back in view. Because I'll explain why this is important. These fan headers get their power basically from this plug. So power goes in, comes out here specifically with specific specifications related to the tracks that run within the motherboard. Now if you overpower those tracks, if your fans draw too much power via those traces, you're burning the traces. In other words, you might burn your motherboard and therefore run the risk of burning down your house. That's a funny joke, right? Well, it ain't no joke. This is dangerous stuff. Look at the disclaimer in screen in this video right now. It's there for a reason. You are responsible for your own and others safety. Right? The people around you. If you do this stuff, you run the risk of just that. They place one fan header for one fan. Now if the motherboard specifies Huh? The rated amperage per header is such and such and the combined amperage that your fan draws from that header is lower, there might not be a problem. But there's a starting amperage as well. I don't see it specified on here. It's not. And in my estimation, unscientific as it is, it's at least twice the amperage as the huh, rated amperage. So it's double that at least. And why am I telling you this? Because of the people who say, oh, the motherboard manual doesn't state it, but they're selling these things on the open market. So let's do this. Of those people that are in this group, there still will be people who say, oh, but I can get away with it. So you have people who stay within the safe margins, then you have people who risk a bit more, and then you've got the silly riskers that go even further, that don't know what the rated amperage is per header that combine these things willy-nilly hopefully at least within the same you know connection type but uh and then you come to the conclusion that there will be people who still think oh i'll combine whatever for those people and i should have gotten purple because red is bad enough So let's use, well, a substitute for yellow, orange, like plutonium stupid, right? Do not do this, exclamation mark in triplicate. Okay, for those people who still want to do it. Look at the, what did I say? Look at the disclaimer, it's not there for not. One amp, two amp, continuous starting. Okay, 
That's it. Now, if you're so silly that you're here, uh, you're beyond, oh, you know, I'm just using whatever. If you're well beyond, of course, staying within the safe limits, then it's this. And I'm not telling you it's this. This is what other people say it is, which I can't verify. Get it? I can't verify this. This is what I've seen most of the time. A starting amperage of two, while the continuous rated amperage is one amp per fan header. At, you know, your own risk with all that that entails. So, do not do it. It's clearly written here by me just now, do not do this. Because I don't want to be held responsible, liable or whatever for your choices. And in fact, sometimes even badly informed choices. But that's how it can be done. And I mean, you can buy a hundred of these, but you'll, huh? And hook them up together, of course, and ruin your motherboard, burn it. Perhaps start a fire in the computer that burns down your entire house. I'm not joking here. This is dangerous stuff. Now, if your motherboard manufacturer doesn't specify it, you can call them. Ask for a specific amperage rating for a specific fan header. And if they're not willing to talk to you, stay safe and use at max one. At maximum one, for those who don't understand what max means. And also, realize something. On the open market, there are non-PC compliant fans with PC connectors available that over, well, draw in any rate, they are extreme industrial ventilators, or at least industrial ventilators, never meant for an application within a computer, although they might be sold with the same plug. This is dangerous stuff, so I want you to stay safe. So, check your specifications as provided by the manufacturer of your specific model of your specific motherboard. They know, they should know, if they don't publicly make that information available. I'm wondering what the true rating is, even if it complies to, you know, the plutonium orange substitute for yellow. So, this is Nikita Net. Once again, there's a disclaimer on screen for a reason. There is a reason why I don't like to talk about this specific part of the PC or computer industry. Because it's not all that well. But somebody asked, many people might have asked, and some did. And uh, well, in light of me showing you this one, I thought I better huh, talk about it a bit. So I hope you like this video, like this like at your pleasure, accept my condescending opinion and voice. Well, of course, I've been trained in school for this, right? I went to school for this, so the condescension is not only valid, it's reasonable. But if you're unsure about this, go to your IT professional and let them in effect incur the liability. Don't do it yourself. Okay? So, thanks for watching. Like, dislike this video, subscribe to the channel and, uh, well, See you in the next video. Bye-bye.